Welcome to the walkthrough of Frequently Made Mistakes for Assignment 3. First, please make sure to thoroughly document your code. I've said this many times before, but too many people are just writing code down, which means it's very hard to give good feedback because I don't really know what you're doing other than just writing code. You need to get in the habit of documenting your code thoroughly. Let's take a look at some problems I saw with initializing the M0 field. So here's one problem I saw. This implementation doesn't meet the specification comment above. You're supposed to store a completed future with a value of zero. Here you're simply initializing the completable future with an empty completable future, which is not the same thing. Please go back and rewatch the early videos on completable futures to see how to do this. Here's another incorrect implementation of initializing the M0 field. This is overkill. There's no need to call supply a sync. Please use a method here that has no runtime overhead at all. Now let's take a look at perform crawl. This code is way too complicated. All this method needs to do is to simply call crawl page async followed by join. And so all the code in here is unnecessary. That, that type of code could be used elsewhere or something along those lines could be used elsewhere, but it doesn't belong here. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and take a look at crawl page helper. There's a couple of common mistakes I saw here. First, as before, there's no need to use a Java stream here. Instead, take a close look at the specification comments, which outline very clearly the four calls that you need to make in order to implement the crawl page helper method. Let's take another look at a problem I saw with crawl page helper a couple times. Make sure that you add one to the depth parameter that's being passed to crawl hyperlinks on page async. Otherwise, you won't get the, the proper count of the number of, of uh, depths that you're going through. Let's go ahead and turn our attention now to problems with get page async. You can see the first problem here. There's no need to use a local variable, just return the result of calling completable future supply async. Local variables can be helpful, but in this case, it just detracts from the code flow and adds additional syntax into this method implementation, which is unnecessary. Speaking of unnecessary, here's another implementation that's just way too complicated. There's no need to use Java streams inside of the supply async method. Of course, you do need to use supply async, but you just need to be able to have it get the web page, which is just a simple method call. So this code is more complicated than need be. Now let's turn our attention to some problems with the get pages, get images on page async method. First, you don't need to use supply async here at all. If you read the specification comments carefully, you see it talks about using a completion stage method. Supply async is not a completion stage method. Supply async is a factor method. So you need to use a pair of completion stage methods. And then speaking of completion stage methods, this code uses the completion stage methods. I've omitted them, so you have to figure out what they are, but it uses them correctly. However, please make sure you use a method reference here instead of a Lambda expression. Whenever you see code that looks like this, where you have S arrow, some method call with S as a parameter, that's an indication that you can replace that with a method reference and you should replace it with a method reference. It's cleaner. Let's take a look down here. Here's another use of supply async that's unnecessary. There's no need to use supply async here. Instead, you want to use completion stage methods as described in the specification in the comments. Uh, this code is also very problematic. It's way too complicated. You just need to call a single completion stage method as described in the specification comments. And you need to make sure that it is past the appropriate results of calling another helper method that's defined further down. So this, this code is just way, way too complicated. This is an interesting mistake in implementing combined results. This code will actually recurse infinitely. It's gonna have infinite recursion. And that's because it's calling itself, passing the same parameters, but there's no base case for the recursion. There should, in fact, be no recursion at all. So this code is simply an error. Here's another implementation that is too complicated. There's no need to use this Lambda expression. Instead, just use a very simple method reference that will sum to uh, integer values. You can probably guess what that's going to be, but that's what you need to use. Down here, I'm not sure why null is being passed here, but the point is to sum these results. So clearly passing a null is going to give the wrong result. In fact, it'll probably cause a null pointer exception because then combine is going to try to call it as if it was a method reference when in fact it's a null pointer. So that's bad. And this implementation is obviously incomplete. I'm not even sure what it's doing. It's certainly not going to compile. So make sure that your code compiles. Just don't throw junk 
and uh, expect to give for me to give you comments to fix all your the things you've omitted. So make sure you think about what you're doing here. There's some good examples of how to use this method in the videos that we talk about completion stage methods and those that are the so-called and completion stage methods where two things have to complete before you get a result. Let's now move on to some problems with crawl hyperlinks on page. You can see here where we have the local variable being unnecessary. Get in the habit, please, of doing a nice long fluent interface chain. It's, it's cleaner and more kind of uh, functional, if you will. And then down here, something very important is missing at the end of the stream. We can't end with just collect. There's something else you need to do because you need to return sums of things. Down here, similar kinds of problem. You need to sum the elements in the stream as opposed to doing find first, get as int. That's not correct. Let's take a look down here where you can see some other problems. Uh, let's see, first problem, you don't need to use filter here because get page elements as strings should not be returning a null, number one. And then also, never call completion stage methods passing in null. That just doesn't make any sense. The point of a complete completion stage method like then apply is to apply a behavior, and null is clearly not a behavior. Again, this will cause your code to crash. Let's come down here. We see yet some more problems with crawl hyperlinks on page. Uh, it's calling the then apply method at the end, which is correct. You should call then apply. However, what's being passed here is incorrect, and it's crawling things all over again. I'm not quite sure why. You can see that the map call up here was basically doing something similar. This is going to do it all over again, and I have a feeling that this will either run for too long or more likely just will never terminate at all because it's got essentially some weird infinite recursion happening. Here's another mistake with crawl hyperlinks on page. There's no need to use reduce. You can just use int stream sum instead, which will clean things up quite a bit. Here's yet more problems with crawl hyperlinks on page. Please use a method reference here instead of a lambda expression. That should be something that you get uh, accustomed to doing. There's no need to use lambdas in a case like this. I have absolutely no idea what's going on with this code, but it's not correct. And uh, it passes in nulls and doesn't have a parameter to collect and all kinds of crazy things. So this code is just very, very wrong. If you have questions about this stuff, please make sure to come to office hours. Uh, this code also, now we're, now we're transitioning into process images. This code also makes no sense and won't run correctly because once again, we're passing all these nulls all over the place, which doesn't make any sense. And uh, there's some things in here that should be method references instead of lambda expressions, but that's not even the beginning of the problem. There's just lots and lots of problems here. So this needs to be fixed. Again, if you have questions, please come to office hours and I'll be happy to help. Some more problems with process images, lots of problems here in general with this method. This is the wrong method to call, and also you shouldn't be passing in, uh, you shouldn't be passing in null to count, number one. And number two, uh, trying to call a second terminal operation after first calling collect is also not going to compile because collect doesn't return a, uh, a stream. This code is also too complicated, you can just use int stream sum instead of all the stuff that's going on here. Uh, this needs to be using int stream sum again, and you shouldn't need to use to int exact. You can just do a cast if you want. That should be a little cleaner. Let's take a look at some more problems with process images. Please get in the habit of using a method reference instead of a lambda expression. That goes for both of these cases. This code is way too complicated. I'm not really quite sure what it's doing but uh, you just need to use int stream sum again, much cleaner, much more concise. Down here, this code has got a problem. It needs to be using the async version of get or download image as opposed to the synchronous version. So once you do that, then this use of map that calls supply sync will be superfluous. You don't need to use it. And don't use count here. You need to sum things, as I've been saying in my previous comments. You can use int stream sum. Down here, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. This is using the wrong intermediate operation, number one. And number two, it's not calling the transform image async method properly. And then something important is missing at the end of all this stuff. You need to basically sum everything up at the end. 
Now we're transitioning into transform image async. And this code is also too complicated. You don't need to use supply async here. Use an async completion stage method. And if you take a look at the comments in the specification or the specification comments, it'll give you some good hints on how to implement this properly. Also, there's no need to call when complete async. I'm not quite sure how that even showed up there. That's not even mentioned in the specification comments at all. This code won't work properly and doesn't meet the specification comments. In particular, once again, do not pass nulls to these completion stage methods. That's where behaviors need to go. And you'll need to think about how to do that. And likewise, you don't want to be using stream.of. That makes no sense either. This code also doesn't implement what's described in the specification comments above. And uh, uh, it's got a number of problems. You shouldn't be using flat map, for example. That's not a good thing to be using there. You need to use a completion stage method that's async. Yet another problem, this just code makes no sense. Uh, it doesn't match the specification comments above. And it has problems down here where it's got a syntax error. It doesn't have a parameter and therefore won't compile. And it's also just syntactically and semantically incorrect. Lots of, lots of problems here. A good place to go to see how to implement transform image async is the video that we did with the image stream gang framework. I did a couple of videos a week or so ago that showed how to use completable futures. And uh, if you take a look at that, it'll give you some hints of what to do here. Make sure you watch the class videos. They're, they're there for a purpose. They're there to teach you things that can help you with the programming assignments. And the same thing goes for this implementation, which is also errant. If you go back and watch the image stream gang videos showing how to use the completion, the completable futures framework, you'll learn some tricks that you can use here. And then finally, we have our transform image method. Most people got that one right, but please make sure that you get in the habit of using objects non-null with filter instead of using the lambda expression shown below. So that's the end of the comments on my review of assignment three, looking at the frequently made mistakes. As you can see, there were a lot of people who struggled with different parts of it. I warned you that this assignment was tricky. So please make sure and go back and think carefully about how to fix the problems. Feel free to come by office hours if you have questions. Make sure that your code compiles. Make sure that your code runs the unit tests when you submit it for the final grade.